the Topaz 64 phase array system can record raw FMC data in addition to live TFM frames. After recording, the UltraVision software can be used to reconstruct various data groups from the raw FMC data, including standard phase array signals, TFM frames, or sectorial total focusing images. The FMC snapshot tool allows to collect a complete FMC frame at one or more discrete row positions, typically where flaws have been detected. In our first example, I will use the well-known ASTM phase array reference block with a set of one millimeter diameter side drill holes located on a vertical line and a standard five megahertz linear array probe with 64 elements coupled to an L-wave wedge. The acquisition setup includes a live TFM frame and a standard phase array channel focusing at 50 mm half path. First, the operator verifies that the unit is in snapshot mode and then goes to the inspection tab. Upon hitting the FMC snapshot button, a complete set of 4096 elementary A scans is collected and all channels can be saved together on an external hard disk connected to the Topaz 64. Upon opening the data file in UltraVision Classic, the two live channels are again visualized. The reconstruction of the FMC data is performed in the familiar advanced calculator interface. The operator can adjust the TFM frame parameters, for example the frame size and resolution, and then process the data reconstruction. UltraVision Classic can rapidly reconstruct TFM frames up to at least 16 megapixels. We can now compare the data groups. Although the live TFM frame on the left satisfies the 2 dB amplitude fidelity rule, we can see that the reconstructed frames of 1 megapixels in the middle and 16 megapixels on the right offer better resolution on the reflectors. It is also possible to reconstruct standard phase array data for any given focal log and for sectorial total focusing, both with very fine angular increments. Here we show the reconstructed sectorial total focusing channel with an angular increment of 0.2 degrees. In addition to the excellent focusing and the very fine resolution on the sector scan view, this algorithm generates an A-scan signal for each angle, just like standard phase array. The next FMC snapshot was taken on a specimen with an EDM notch, using the same 5 MHz probe and L-wave wedge. The typical L-L wave mode was already processed, and we are now processing the same FMC raw data using the LL-L reconstruction mode. The L-L wave mode on the left shows the back wall of the specimen, the tip and the corner trap of the notch, and allows for very accurate through wall sizing. For this type of planar flaw perpendicular to the ID surface, the LL-L wave mode on the right provides additional information from the surface of the flaw. The Topaz 64 also allows to record FMC data in full data mode. This means that a complete set of elementary A scans is stored at each probe position in an encoded sequence. Ideally, this requires an automated scanning mechanism to control the movement. We will now process data from a carbon steel plate weld where FMC frames were taken every millimeter together with a live phase array channel. The data reconstruction process is the same as shown before, first adjusting the TFM frame size to 512 by 512 to obtain code compliant amplitude fidelity. Obviously, the reconstruction operation takes more time than for a single snapshot. The reconstructed TFM data group has exactly the same format as the results from a volumetric merge operation. It is easy to use the projection gates to isolate and visualize individual flaws, like the near surface toe crack with well resolved corner and tip signals. We can also observe the capability of the TFM technique to provide excellent resolution for imaging the cluster of porosity.